guys welcome back okay so today i'm just gonna sit down and do a full face of makeup um hopefully you guys will hang out with me maybe you'll do your makeup with me but i just kind of went through my makeup collection and pulled some items that i wanted to play with today some of these items are from my shop my stash which are actually going to be switched out this week because it's time for a new shop my stash and some are just items that i pulled out that i just want to play with today so just to give you a heads up on what i'm using today for foundation i did go ahead and pull my nyx born to glow i haven't used this in quite a while it's in the shade cappuccino so i'm going to be using that today i also wanted to go ahead and use this tarte shape tape concealer i did pull this for my shop my stash and i have i used this yet i don't think so but i'm gonna use it today i also pulled uh this tarte double duty beauty this is a base tape hydrating primer so it's kind of like you know two in one hydration and priming your face i love this stuff you guys i do have a backup i love it to death and i'm going to be using this today uh what else did i pull this title sunday riley brightening enzyme water cream yo this stuff is so nice you guys I mean, really, it's really, really thick. I did pull this from my shop, my stash, so I have used it a few times. I really like this stuff. I might end up keeping it for my next shop, my stash. I'm not sure. Nice, thick, extremely moisturizing. I really, really like it. Let me just open it up just in case, you know, you want to see what it looks like. It looks kind of weird, looks kind of funky, but... This stuff is really, really nice, you guys. Very nice. It doesn't have like an extremely pleasant smell either. It doesn't stink, but I like it. <laughs> so I'll be using that today. Uh, for my powder, I'm going in with my Iman. This is just the Earth Dark Regular Setting Powder. I got my Peach Perfect Powder here. I did pull this for my Shop My Stash to use under my eyes. I noticed that it is a little bit drying, but I only used it once. I'm gonna try it again today and see how I feel about it. I have the shade Translucent Caramelized Peach. So it's a really nice shade, but I'm not quite sure on how I feel about it yet. So I'm gonna use it again today. Now this blush here, I don't know. Typically I don't really, well in the past I should say, I haven't really cared for shimmery blushes, but for some reason, right now i am in love with shimmery blushes it's like that two in one just glowy lit from within look that it does on my cheeks i love it so typically when i do this i don't do a highlighter because it is shimmery but this elf blush here oh i can't the name is so small what does it say radiant peach it is so pretty you guys if you like radiant type blushes try it out it's really really pretty I also pulled this Pure Dark Deep Face Palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm. If you watched my video, you know how excited I was to get this. Oh my gosh, it's so, so gorgeous. And I cannot wait to try it out. So I'm gonna play with this today. I also pulled my Morphe Setting Spray. I haven't used this in quite a while, so I wanted to go ahead and use this. I know I love this stuff and I have tons of it, so I really need to have this in my shop, my stash for the next few weeks, but I'm going to go ahead and use this today. I pulled some of my AOA Studio Premium Lashes. These are in the style Ariel. And these are some of the 3D Faux Mink Lashes. I thought these were kind of cute. So we'll see how these look today. And for lips, I want to do something nude. Because as you'll see in a minute, the palette I'm using is super colorful and super bold. So I did pull my DJ's Boutique Lip Liner. I also have my DJ's Unique Boutique Natural Lip Gloss. And um, for my lips prior to the lip gloss, I did pull this queen uh, matte lipstick i think i got this from boxy charm or ipsy it's called thick sun it looks like but it's just a nude so i just want to do a liner a nude and then a gloss so that's basically the face i'm doing today for my palette i pulled this beauty bay 20 color palette this one is called what is it the book of magic so 
This is the really pretty blue and purple palette that I pulled from my last Shop My Stash to use. So yeah, I'm gonna play with this today and see what I can come up with you guys. So let's go ahead and just jump into this look. Okay, you guys, so I've already moisturized my skin with that Tidal Water Cream. Love that stuff, you guys. It is just so nice and nourishing for the skin. I love it. So I'm gonna go in, of course, as you can see, I need to do some eyebrows and Typically, I've been using my Pure Pencil. It's actually an eyeliner pencil, but I use it for my eyebrows because it is just the perfect shade. It's on point from Pure. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil today. I believe this is in the shade Deep Brown. And the reason why I'm using this today instead of my Pure is because I need to use something else. Then Pure pencils be running out quick and they like $20 a pop. <laughs> So, and the elf ones are only a couple of dollars, so we're going to use our elf for a little while so we can chill on the pier. And there's nothing wrong with these elf eyebrow pencils. They're actually really good, in my opinion, um, as far as an affordable eyebrow pencil. I really like them. The color is nice and dark. They're easy to use. And, you know, since I basically have to completely draw my eyebrow on, I need something that is going to show up. It's going to be quick and easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my brows right quick. So now that I have the basic shape of my eyebrows down, I'm going to clean it up, make it look better using my Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. And I've been using this for years. I don't know. I just It just works perfectly for me. So... I'm gonna keep on using it. <laughs> and to prep my lids today, I'm going in with my P. Louise base in Rumor 04. Okay, so I really wanna work with the purples and the blues in this palette, you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is start out with the purples. So I'm going to take this shade here and place that on my inner corner. And I'm not quite sure yet if I want to do a cut crease or not. So we're just winging it as usual. Okay, well that's pigmented. Hello. <laughs> I love a really pretty nice pigmented purple and that looks really, really nice. Okay, so next I'm really, really loving this color here. So I'm gonna place that right next to that purple. Okay, so far I'm really, really liking this pigmentation, you guys. Very nice. Okay, so I think I want to go in with the dark blue next. You guys, I am absolutely shook at the pigmentation for this palette. I mean, this pigmentation is off the chain, okay? It's crazy. So obviously with this type of shape, I'm trying to go for a cut crease of some sort. So let me just clean this up a little bit and then we can work with some of the shimmers. Okay, so for shimmers, you guys, I wanna start out with something really light and bright. So I think I'm going to take this really pretty silver shade right here and place that on the beginning portion of this cut crease. Okay, next I wanna go into this really pretty lavender shade here. And I'm using uh, foam applicators today just in case you were wondering, because you know I wanna make sure I can pick up the shadow nicely and not have to dig my brush into it. Now 
Now I can't decide really which blue shimmer I wanna use on this outer portion, so I think I'm gonna use both. So I'm gonna go into this one here first, and then I will go into this one last. So next I'm gonna go in with this dark blue um, eyeliner. I picked these up from Amazon. I'll have them listed in the description box. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I need to play with them a little more. They're not the most easy liners to use, but I wanna see how this one looks with this eye look. Okay, so just some thoughts on the liner. While the color itself is very pretty, I love the kind of semi-metallic navy blue shade. The applicator for that liner is not the easiest. It's a little bit hard and stiff, and it takes a while for the liner to dry. It's really weird. It stays wet for quite a while, so you gotta be careful. Especially with hooded eyes like mine, I can easily transfer the liner you know, on my lid. So. Just some information about those liners, but the colors are really, really nice. So let me just quickly run through my face because I don't want this video to be too long and we already know what I'm using. Y'all see that coverage? Y'all see that glow? I love it, okay? I really, really like this NYX Born to Glow Foundation. And if you don't wanna be so glowy, you know, of course, you can powder up and all of that stuff and it still gives you a nice, healthy glow. But I love this foundation. Okay, so I definitely like using this powder with a brush more so than a sponge. You guys know I like to, you know, set the powder under my eyes with a sponge, but since it is a little bit more of a heavier powder for me, it's working out real nice with the brush. It's looking real nice and smooth, so don't mind that. And it smells like peaches, okay? So if you don't like scents, then you won't like this because it smells like peaches.
Y'all, this face palette is giving me life, okay? I'm using the dark shade here, of course. It's like, you know, my contour bronzer. I use this shade here for like a really nice kind of warm tone blush. And now I'm gonna go into this highlighter and see what's happening. You guys, I totally forgot that I wanted to use this really pretty shimmery elf blush today. Once I started playing with this pure face palette, it was all over. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to use this another time. I don't think that the eyelashes that I chose are going to be, I don't know, wingy enough for this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this other style, which is Eva, and I'm gonna pop these on and we can finish this eye look and finish up the face. Okay, you guys, the lashes are on. For my lower lash line, I decided I wanted to go in with a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I've had this forever. I don't even remember this collab. It looks like it says Amanda Steele and ColourPop on here. But the color is called Hydroplane, and it's this really pretty, shiny, turquoise shade. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this on my lower lash line, but I'm going to try. I'm going in with one of my e.l.f. smudger brushes. That's pretty it's different I've never used a super shock shadow as a eyeliner before but I think it looks really pretty now I think I'm going to take some of this purple just a little bit and smudge that on my lower lash line okay so now I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes this is my Milani highly rated mascara I already have some on my upper lashes so just going to go in on the lowers. And now for just a little bit of an inner corner pop, I'm going to go back into this bright silver shade here. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go in with my selections for my nude lip. Okay, you guys, so I put on a blue shirt so I could be a little bit more matchy-matchy with my eyes. Now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe Setting Mist. And that's it for today's face, you guys. So, yeah, I would say, honestly, everything I used today I really, really liked except the eyeliner. The liquid eyeliner on top, mm, the jury's still out on that. I wish it had a nice brush applicator instead of like the hard thin applicator and it would be a little easier to use. But the palette, <laughs> the pigmentation, ease of use, blendability, bomb, okay? <laughs> yeah, this palette is bomb, you guys. I really, really like it. It is nice. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. It's really nice. The shades that I used work super easy for me. You guys saw it. So, and I'm really glad that I pulled that NYX um, Born to Glow foundation. I forgot how much I liked it. It's definitely going to be in my next shop, my stash. So, spoiler alert, I'm going to pull that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the face for today. You guys let me know what you think. I know this eye look is a bit bold, but it's just what happens when I do my eyes. <laughs> okay, so. 
so thanks so much for hanging out with me today you guys and don't forget to hit that like if you like the video if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to your girl i'd love to see you in my future videos yeah i think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles <laughs>